What's going on guys? Siege is back with more NHL 19 Super Mega Roster Update, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so I done a shite load of stuff off camera. Um, yeah, the footage in the last video, my freaking Elgato crapped out of one second. I gotta check this thing, make sure it doesn't crap out on me. Um, the footage on the Elgato was shit last time, and I apologize for that. It, um, it was bugging out again. I don't know what the issue is, like... I'm not going to do it this time, but I think the next time I record for the final episode of the Super Mega Roster Update... Uh, it's still 10 seconds off, Jesus. What I'm going to go ahead and do is, um... Probably end up having to lower the FPS... Oh, not the, oh my god, not the, not the frames per second, the, um, the quality, to, instead of 1080p, I might do, um, I might, I might do, what's, what's below 1080, 720, see, maybe that fixes it, because if that doesn't fix it, I don't know what will, or if it ever will, because I'm looking at my screen right now, and it's not bugging out, but for some reason, when it's done rendering, it's always crapping out, what I could do... Actually, there's a couple things I could do. Okay, but anyways, uh, what we're doing in this episode, we're going to do it real quick because it's just the AHL. It's nothing super important. Um, I'm just going to run through. <clears throat> I, I created every prospect um, to be drafted. I have a bunch of guys to create that are already had that have been drafted uh, and a bunch of prospects. I've done all the CHL. I got to go to like all the Swedish and Finnish whole leagues like that. And I did those guys. But until then, I'm just going to do a quick run through of the AHL. Uh, I didn't do as much research this time around as I did last time, but I already know, like I like I already know who I want to upgrade, and who needs to get upgraded. Uh, Mackenzie Blackwood, number one. I'm gonna make a couple overall better and give him starting potential. Um, let's up everything by two. See, after after I, I get in pretty good rhythm. Like I I was able to knock out. Jesus, I, I created and edited all those, about 100 prospects today. I probably got it done in about an hour and a half. So once I get in a groove, I could really start knocking this out. Uh, no, no, those guys need to upgrade it. Uh, Nadelkovic, yes. So we'll see how quickly, how quickly I can get all this done. Ned is going to get high starter up everything by two. Those of you that don't know, Nedeljkovic scored an empty net goal against the Hartford Wolfpack last season. And I was at that game with one of my friends. And I left the game early. I left the game uh, when... I put it this way. This is just how I found out. I saw it the next day on Twitter. I found out... Yeah, on Twitter. But I left... <laughs> check this out. I left... 30 seconds before he scored the goal. I heard the chat, I heard the crowd cheering for an empty net goal. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't look back or anything like that. I just said, all right, shit, empty net goal. Hartford lost. Nothing else really matters. And then to find out the next day that they were not only cheering for an empty net goal, but they were cheering for a goalie goal, I was pretty upset. Um, <laughs> you know, you missed something like a goalie goal. It does not happen often. You know, bro doors left in this league. Well, there's Mike Smith, but, you know, Calgary doesn't really win often, and he's always hurt. But, you know, it's just like, ah, like, I was I was in the stadium for a goalie goal, so I could say, hey, listen, I, I was in the same stadium where a goalie goal happened. I just didn't see it happen because I was leaving because the Wolfpack were getting obliterated. And we'll just leave it at that. Okay, um, yeah, those are two really good goaltending prospects right there. Oscar Dansk. Yeah, it's fine. Um... Zachary Foucault is better than that. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping to have the first episode up of the franchise mode tomorrow, maybe. Um, tomorrow being Sunday the 16th, I believe. Uh, the, the issue is I have... I still have a lot of editing and creating to do. And it is so tedious to do it. Like, I'm trying to fly through the, the AHL, but there is a lot of stuff I got to do. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, here's Terry. Carsey Halverson. That's fine. Fair enough. 
It just stinks. I really want to... I really want to... I want to start playing in the worst freaking way. Like, you have no idea how bad I want to play um, this darn game. Um, I'm going to give him high starter because he's 24 and he's supposed to be a starter goalie. Like, I want to jump into a... Fr like, and I'm, I'm, I'm a psychopath. Like, I, I literally cannot... Um... Like, I can't play this game until I have these rosters exactly the way I want them, want them to, or else I just can't play Ranger mode without that. Um, so, I, I'm, I'm trying to just rip past all this. Get it, get her done. Get that franchise mode going, and let just get on the road, man. I mean, come on. Uh, Appleby, Appleby. Oh, I don't know, I'm thinking of a different Appleby. Same team, different Appleby. Um, okay, Ontario, Campbell. I think that's it for AHL goalies. I don't think I missed any. I'm just going to do my due diligence. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that should be it. No, Parsons. Parsons needs high. He needs to get a little bit better and he needs high starter. Uh, I don't know why he's got green pads, but he does. I can't wait. I, I'm so I'm, I'm so pumped to get into this game, especially like I think this might be the biggest roster update I've. Well, actually, no, it's not. The biggest roster update I did was the one I did before this, in NHL 18, where I did like 300 or 400 something players I edited and created. It was just it was stupid how much stuff I did on that one. Uh, this one is more or less just get. I'm just ah, I'm just I just hyped. Like I really I want to start so bad. Like I'm, I'm ready to just dive into this freaking game, but I have to do these things. Uh, okay, regular starter up everything by two. Aiden Hill is actually a really good prospect. My brother's cursing at this stupid Fortnite down there. I wish he'd stop playing that damn game. I don't know. Ugh. For for all for all of you that are new and just watch this for the first time. Him yelling downstairs at his games are not few and far between. They're quite common, as it turns out. Um. Okay, yeah, again, I already know who I have to edit for the most part. It's just a matter of just seeing them and catching them quick. In and out, done. Yeah, like, Devin Tays needs to be a lot better than that. Up everything by three. That should get him to at least a 76. Because he's going to be an NHL defenseman probably as soon as this year. We'll see if that gets him to an NHL level. Should. 77, that's fine. And the top four potential, maybe he'll grow to like an 80. Might not grow at all, but I did what I could do. If it doesn't work, I'll go back and do it for the next franchise one after this one. Um, nope, that should be that. Trevor Carrick. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I might go back and make Carrick a little bit better. Hunt. Uh, high franchise for Griffin Reinhardt. <laughs> uh, Gabriel Carlson, yeah, that's good. Clendenning, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, Ronick. He needs to be a little better. Crazy, McElroy is going to be their best defenseman in Grand Rapids this year. If Ronick makes it to the NHL. I miss McElroy, man. I miss him. McElroy, I really think... I know. I don't think he'd ever develop into a... Um, like a top... Top four... Shut down defenseman, but I always thought I mean it's and it sucks too because of the guys we could have picked instead of him, uh, Kuzi and uh, and Tarasenko, but I always felt Macrath could be a, a really solid fifth or sixth defenseman, physical as all hell and just shuts everything down. Uh, Big Rose, Peter Crowley, Leach, yeah, it's fine. It's all fair. Might want to make Gilmore a little bit better. What's Gilmore skating? Like how did they like he he won the fastest skater competition in the AHL. 
Why does he only have 83 speed and 83 acceleration? Again, it's just I feel like sometimes, and I'm not going to get on EA Sports hard because they, they did pretty well this year. It's just like stupid things like that. Like, don't you think they should notice those things? Like, they, I don't think they research very much when they when they do these rosters. I really don't think they do. I think they kind of just put numbers together. Hey, look, hey, this looks fair, right? Yeah, sure. Set them out. And I get it. It's the AHL. Apparently, them it's not it's not as important. But I, I maybe maybe I'm a little bit hardcore. Maybe it's just me. But I don't know. I just feel like that shit's kind of important. You know, you should catch on to stuff like that. Or or hire people that do pay t pay close attention to the AHL, like myself. I'm heavily into the AHL. So just if you're looking to hire someone to set the AHL roster for you, please fucking hire me because the person that's doing it now is ass. Um. Yes. Yeah, that'll work for now because he's gonna grow. Uh, Bill P. Really? They really think he's gonna be that good? Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna sit here and argue. I'm not really here to downgrade prospects. Uh, Morin. That's fair. Philip Myers. Yeah. Can't believe he went undrafted and they just signed this kid. What a beast. Uh, Sammy Niku. Yep. Matt Donovan, the ex Aslander Islander. Yep. Fantenberg, yep. Uh, Steve Camper. Sure. Zaboral. I think his overall needs to be higher. And he needs to be at least a seventy three. Just to ensure that he grows. And the same thing. I was going to keep going. Like if I think people just need a little bit of an overall bump. I'll just go through. I'll up everything by two. Because that guarantees their overall gets up. And it, it boosts their jump. Like it, it helps them grow longer. Because some category. I think the way the growing works um, in these games. Is the same way that we used to do it. Um, for example like. If you had to be a pro mode. You get X amount of experience. And then you'd apply it. I think that's what the computer does. So some some categories are more expensive than others. So I feel like if you just upgrade everything and just get some closer to where they should be when they peak. I don't want to see a lot of bus prospects. Like I, you know, you gotta see bus here and there. Um oh yeah, Jacob Larson's fine. I don't gotta edit him at all. Um but you know, you kind of do want to see a bit of a middle ground. Yeah, that's good, because low elite he didn't really grow a lot last year. Uh Bosch Trump. Well, Stockton, right? Good. Um, okay. Kylington, too. Yeah. He needs a bit of a boost. Kylington needs a boost. For sure. As a 21 years old, medium top board, he is not going to grow up with 70 overall. Same thing, just go through everything by two. You should get him to like a 72, 73 overall. Okay. That way, now we know he will grow. Should make the NHL one day. 74 overall, perfect, even better. Syracuse, Mason, blah, 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 Cernak. That's about right. Um. Okay. Yeah, Kelly Rosen needs to be better. Uh, medium time four. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep doing everything by two. Get that overall up there. And what I'll do for, for him to get the overall way up there, I'll do offensive awareness and defensive awareness up by four. Because he's probably going to make the NHL this year. This should get into like a 75. Should. Should. 77, perfect. Good, that has him just about in the NHL. Uh, Robbie Russo, yep. Um, yep. Trevin Elliott Taylor, yep. Okay, moving on to forwards now. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, Colin White, good. He's already up there. Nick Paul. Balsers are going to give medium top six potential, too. 
just so he grows. I'm not going to touch his overall. I'm going to just do everything by one. Just to get that little bit of boost. And so that our Eric Carlson trade doesn't look too bad. Because Balser is kind of underrated. Uh, in the game, he's underrated. In real life, I think he's rated pretty fairly. I think the kid's solid. I think he's solid. Uh, here we go here. Um, yeah, actually, that's fine. I was going to make Bastion better, but no, that's about right for him. Is this a little Del Cole? Yeah, Del Cole is not good anymore. Yep. Uh, Warren Fogel. This kid has got to be made better after the year he had last year in, uh, in Charlotte. He is or was a hella standout for them last year in the AHL. Fogel was insane. That should make him close to an NHL level. He might make the NH he might make the Hurricanes this year. I would not be surprised if he did. I'll tell you the Checkers, they got a really good system. They got a lot of solid players down there. Yeah, Nick Roy, Julian Gauthier. Yeah, Sorella, Clark Bishop. Yeah, they'll be fine. Chicago Wolves. Peary, yep. He got that's fine. Yep. Kaminev. I'm just going to up him in a medium top six. I'm not going to touch his overall because overall is actually pretty accurate. Because he'll have one good year in the AHL and you should be up to like 70 to 80 overall. It's about an NHL level. Um, I'm so pissed at the Wolfpack they didn't bring back Kosi. Kowski, Chris Terry, Pumple. Yep. Matt Pumple, X Ranger. Uh, Schneider, Butler, Latiri. I think Latiri could be a little bit better. Latiri played a lot of. I only played like 20 something NHL games last year. Close to 30. I think it's pretty known now that Latiri is probably going to make the NHL this year. I, I think at least. I feel like latiri has got a really good shot at making the Rangers roster. Just with the way things working out right now, I feel like Latiri is going to make it to the NHL. We have a safe bet. I think he'll be a solid NHL or two. I really do think that. Uh, in a perfect world, I'd make Fontaine like 75 overall with 99 hands, but, you know. Uh, liquid Hot Megna. Okay, well, what was Gershitz's overall right there? Yes, everyone's all right for now. Um, yep. Chaput. Stino. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Deals, Appleton, yeah, okay, good, because, yeah, he's good. Lemieux, I'm going to give medium top six. They have him listed as a top five prospect for Winnipeg. So I figured he earned that much. Certainly earned that much. Uh, moving on, Milwaukee. No, no one there, really. Matt Molson. <laughs> I feel so bad for Matt Molson, I do. Uh, JFK. I'm tempted to give him medium top six. I'm going to give him high top nine, because I don't think he's going to be a top six forward. Doesn't that suck? This is JFK, like 2BC, like he had that series going with Detroit. He got what, like 11 episodes in and kind of left on like a bit of a cliffhanger. It just sucks, man. I mean, his uploading schedule got so screwed up. It makes you wonder what the hell happened. Alex Nylander, I'm make him a bit better. So bad, man. 2BC, man. He was, um, he was my favorite YouTuber for the longest time. 
Still is, still is one of my favorites. Just he doesn't upload enough for me to really call my favorite anymore. There's nothing against him. I mean, dude, real life happens. Real life happened to me. I wasn't uploading consistently. I, I still ain't. I mean, not, well, now it's hockey season. I'm going to be able to start uploading in because I'm not going to need to do any editing. I can kind of just talk into a, talking to the camera about the Rangers and the NHL in general. But, man, 2BC. He used to be my favorite. Now, now my favorite YouTubers are like Big Mooney and uh, and Call Me Kevin. Dude, that guy, that guy Call Me Kevin is so freaking funny. He is abs- He's hilarious. I I love watching his video. His, his, he does such a great job editing too. Same with Big Mooney. I mean, Big Mooney, um, he's funny, but I don't think he's trying to be funny. Um, like trying to be funny as much. He just is funny. Um, but he, he does really good. He do, he plays a lot of Hitman, um, and he also does uh, Fallout Four. Uh, I like to watch his videos. Call me Kevin. He, Kevin just plays everything. He's he's freaking hilarious. He's he's great. I, I could I could seriously watch his videos for hours on end, and I did too. <laughs> like when I first saw his channel, I watched a few a uh, few things. I thought they were pretty funny, um, and then I then I saw his um. Is a game is called Comedy Night. I watched that video and he made like five of them. <sighs> I'm talking, it, was, it had to be like two in the morning, and I busted out laughing. It was so he had so many funny parts. Now when my pa- my parents were upset, uh, cause, oh my god, they were just like, yelling, "Shut the what the fuck are you laughing at? It's two in the morning." It was, it was funny shit. Uh, Kevin Kevin's hilarious. Uh, oh, Adam will get Goedes already in the game. Oh, bet. I don't got to create his ass then. Perfect. My life just got made so much easier. Yas. There we go. Boom. One, two, one, two. You know, funny story about Adam Goedet. Guess who the pick, the fifth round pick that became Adam Goedet. Guess what team that originally belonged to. I want you to guess. If you said the New York Rangers, you're right. The New York Rangers traded the fifth round pick to to Vancouver Canucks for Rafael Diaz. That fifth round pick would become Adam Gaudet, the Hobie Baker winner. And now top prospect for Vancouver Canucks. Just wanted to put that out there. Just uh, when people say, hey, you need depth defensemen, pick them up. That's why I always disagree. That's why. All right. Um. Uh, we only it only took us twenty minutes to do the AHL. So I'll tell you what, I'll take you guys around the league with me for a little bit. So actually, I got to do a couple of edits right now. So we got. Okay. He's done. Okay. Uh. Let me just. Let me clean up my list quick. I'll do it on camera. Okay. They're done. Okay. You're done. Both of them are done. Oops, you're not done. I haven't even created you yet. You're done. You're done. I gotta create three players for Colorado. Uh, Detroit. Benito. Let me go back to Edmonton. Did you guys see Kaylor Yamamoto? I didn't see him. Uh, they might. They might have him in the um. In the WHL or something. That would suck. Where did Yamamoto get drafted out of? The WHL? I really don't want to go find his ass. Let's play RV. There he is. All right. We'll get his ass done with. Finish that. Okay. Kaler, I'm not going to give him anything serious. I'm just going to give him high top six. And up everything by two. Because he did play in the NHL for a portion of last season. So. That's got to speak for something. Okay. Get to at least like a 77. Uh, he's done. They're not done. Well, he's done. Um, I don't think... No. Uh, nope. Oh, that's a lot of freaking guys. Okay. 
I got to create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Rangers because they're not in this damn game. Uh, one of them should be Ryan Lindgren. Uh, he's done. Did him. Uh, he's done. He's done. Both of them are done. Um, he is done. I did him as well. Okay. Okay. I don't think I have to... Well, I don't want to create anybody on camera. Because if I create anybody on camera, it's going to... It's going to show you the guys I've already created. So I'm gonna we're going to go to the Swedish leagues. So we'll start off with... Alexi Hepaniemi. Uh, he played in Karpat and Liga. Uh, here we go. Uh, Karpat. Oh, Visa Lion is here too. Did I already get Visa Lion? Yes, I have a checkmark by his name. He's already done. Yeah, Visa Lion is the guy I edited, but his overall did not change. Uh, Hepaniemi, well, actually, I might not need to edit him at all. Hmm. I'm going to make a shot better. A shot's weak as all hell. Yeah. Okay. That'll get him done. Uh, I think Kupari's in the league at two. We'll get at least 80s. I'm close to it. Just get his overall going a little bit. Help him out. Um, what team is Rasmus Kapari on? Kapari. Uh, Rasmus, I know he's in the Liga. Oh, he's also on Carpod. I was right. There he is. Uh, yeah, his overall needs a boost. And after that, I'll finish LA. What's up? Alright, right, I'll be down in 10. Sure, I'll play that. Alright. My little sister. Dinner's ready, so we're just going to finish this up. Then I got to go eat. For those of you that don't know, I am still in the middle of Hurricane Florence right now in North Carolina. Um, so we want to eat before the power goes out. I'm currently at my parents' casa. Playing my Xbox. Uh, well, yeah, you know. Yeah, but we're anticipating serious power outages tonight. We're on um we're on tornado watch with a forty percent chance of tornadoes up until probably tomorrow tomorrow night. Kinda stinks. Uh Asat Kakanyami's off Asat. I feel like yes, very Kakanyami could be like a like a Barkov esque pick for Montreal. Like he's just gonna, you know, not off the board, but not expected to go top three, but was top three. At least I don't. I didn't think he was gonna go top three. I really thought he was gonna drop to like top ten. Um, they actually think he's gonna make the NHL this year. I really got to give his overall a nice pop. Go 87 speed and acceleration. I, I mean, if Montreal's smart, they're not going to rush him to the NHL. If they rush him into the NHL, they're going to fuck up his development. I don't want them to screw up a good player. They should get him into the NHL. This should be plenty. That should get him to at least 78, 79. Okay, good. Um, okay. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. I gotta get him done. I don't know what league he's in. He's not in the league, though. Ugh, I'm gonna go over the SHL. Um. Okay, I'll do it. I really would want to just get everyone in the league done, but I guess we can go to the SHL. Brinas. I'm not going to edit his overall unless it's stupid low. It's stupid low. Damn it. All right. Yes, this is Adam Bockfist's brother, Jesper Bockfist, on the New Jersey Devils. Ah, uh, here we go. One, two. Up everything by five. For those of you wondering, I do go into a little bit more detail when I'm when I'm creating players versus just editing them. When I'm editing them and I'm in a rush, I don't really look too much at the individual stats as I feel like that's kind of like a waste of time. I would just take it longer, especially because I just want to get this damn series out for you guys. Uh, where did he play last year, though? HV71. Is Linus Soderstrom. Another Islander done. Only three more to go. I have to create all three of them. Actually, I'm going to have to create that one. Actually, I'm probably going to have to create this guy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Please, no. Hey, I don't have to create him. Beautiful. Okay, I can just do that in WHL. I really hope the NHLPA and or EA Sports or so just actually you know, I guess that would be EA Sports gets in touch with the KHL and gets KHL in this game so I could stop having to freaking create them all the damn time. I hate I hate having like it's so stupid. The KHL is the second most popular league in hockey league in the world. So I mean, wh why is it not in the game? Finally, I don't have to create Kiefer Bellows anymore. What team is he on? What team is Kiefer Bellows on? Portland. Oh, same team as um, Joker Jaharo. Ah, don't look, don't peek, don't don't peek, don't cheat. There's some crazy guys on that team, I think. Kiefer Bellows. Uh, one, two, one, two. It's up everything by two. That way he's closer to NHL already. I forgot he went from university to uh, the WHL last year. I should remember that. Okay, almost done. Okay, can't do any of those guys. Cannot do any of them. Uh, no, can't do him. I can do him, though. And then I'll have to create everyone else on my lonesome. That way y'all can't cheat. Okay, he was in the Liga. JYP. Lexi's... Oh, uh, Lexi. 